Hi, my name is Dan, and this is Angleguised. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, please have a look around. Welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Um, and to all my Patreon subscribers, thank you so very, 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 very much for your subscriptions. There will be uh, new readings being released on the 1st of March, which will be tomorrow. Um, well, actually, you guys get to see this in two days from this reading. So this is for, this is the forecast for the Greater Collective for Saturday the 29th, the end of the week, guys. So this is kind of a big, um, a big deal. We're going to see how we're finishing out this week. We've sort of gone out off plan a little bit, and we've sort of surpassed sort of our Sunday forecast for the end of the week. So I'm interested to see where these cards go. So let's see what they have to say for the group. If you feel like uh, supporting the channel, please hit like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And um, uh, follow me at angleguys333 on Instagram. Let's see what our card is. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Alright, so it's the artist, guys. Um, I've talked about him twice this week. He is haunting us. What are we creating? We need to figure out what we want. We need to figure out how to create it, we need to figure out exactly what to do, put a plan in motion and see it through. So I'm just going to leave it at that. If you don't know what this card means by this point, or if you're new to me, go back and watch Sunday or Monday because both days this card showed up. And last week at Sunday's forecast, he showed up. Um, he is Major Arcana. He's packing a punch. He's telling us we need to get clear and start to create. We need to start to figure out where we want to go and how we want to get there. He's here to help us paint that picture and to start to make that happen. So um, keep that in mind as you move through the day today. Keep that in mind as he was the underpinning of the beginning of this week. Um, he's back. We're not done creating. We're not done making this happen. So let's see what the... Work Your Light deck says. This is Inner Temple. Devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So this is all about, to me, meditation. Getting close to oneself and going inward to find out, sorry, this camera angle's horrible. The camera's too close, I didn't realize. Uh, going in to find out like sort of the true light that's within us and what it is that we want to create, sort of clearing away the clouds, using the energy of this artist to sort of create the life that we want. What is it that we want? How is it that we want it? Do we want it bad enough? Are we strong enough to have it? These are the questions I want to ask. This is what I feel like um, compelled to say with these cards here for Saturday. It feels to me like it's almost like the, the door is wide open with these cards. sort of feels to me like if we go into that inner temple and we start to reflect and start to create from that space, especially that space of clarity and that space with the heart here. I love how we have these heart um, chakras activated here. Where is our heart at, guys? Are we following our heart? Are we clearly defining what it is we want? Are we living up to the truth of that? Do we need to sort of be strong and, and take those steps towards those things? That's kind of like what I'm feeling with these cards. Let's see what the grounding stone is for today. It's on carnelian, which is like the root chakra, the first chakra. The word is miracle. I really, guys, I mean, I, I, this is a really short forecast because we've seen this artist card quite a bit. And I really feel like this miracle stone is telling me that if we want it, we can have it. And we have to go about creating it. But we also have to clearly know that we want it before they're going to give it to us. And that's this inner temple card. Right? That's this going inward. And when we ground in that, or we ground in the idea and the concept of creating our own miracles in our lives, 
we actually can begin to do that just very like just that thing which is sort of um, define what we want and start to paint that picture be the artist be the creator and things will start to come to fruition that we will think are miracles those of us like maybe we're already experiencing some of them or or we need to start acknowledging the ones that are happening around us even if they're small miracles but we need to pay attention to them and acknowledge them ground in them and continue to sort of follow them because if we don't then I feel like I want to say that they lose their power if they go unacknowledged or unacknowledged. I feel like it's funny too, because I'm looking at this door, oh, whoops, sorry. I'm looking at this door here, and I'm feeling like this is a doorway here. Like we need to walk through. We need to be brave enough to just do it. That's kind of my feeling. Like go inward, ask ourselves, ask our heart, center our mind, get into our deepest knowing, you know, this pyramid here, this light, and head towards the door. Head towards the door. Head towards the creation of whatever it is that we want. Whatever it is that we think, you know, would bring about that feeling of a miracle. And even, in, like, I feel like this miracle stone says to me, even if we don't think it's possible, like, there's certainly things in my life where I don't think that they're possible right now, but this miracle stone feels like if we ground in the idea that there's a possibility of having it and really wanting it and getting clear in our mind that we want it and going after it, it's there for us. And it's going to be actually, like, a miracle in the sense that it's easier to come across than we think or easier to have than we think. This artist is like just chasing us. All right, you guys, that's your forecast for the day. I'm just going to leave it there because I think that I've explained this card like four times in the last two weeks. So it does shorten the forecast today, but that's okay. Short forecasts are okay because I think that this is a pretty clear and profound message. We are the creator. Go inward and figure out what it is you want. Do it from a heart-centered space with clarity. Walk through the door and, and acknowledge the miracles that exist and create and continue to create and ground more into your lives. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. We have a new deck to work with tomorrow, guys. On the 1st, March 1st. We're already in the third month of the year. Where is it going? Ah! All right, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.